<clears throat> Hi everybody, Billy Van Heusen here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the Broncos' loss to Baltimore, um, which probably shouldn't happen, but it was a tough game for the Broncos. Uh, I, I feel like uh, Coach Fangio said after the game they were concentrating on keeping Lamar Jackson from running, wanted to force him to pass, and I think that strategy uh, kind of backfired on him a little bit. Lamar Jackson threw some great passes uh, and basically beat them through the air. He did have 104 yards rushing, which caused some controversy at the end of the game when he <clears throat> rushed for four yards, when he probably could have just knelt down and would have rushed for 99 yards, but some 40 consecutive games or something that Baltimore had rushed for 100 yards and Harbaugh didn't want to uh, ruin that record. So, Anyway, the bottom line is that uh, Drew Locke came in in the second half. Teddy Bridgewater suffered a concussion in the first half, and uh, Locke had his problems throwing the ball, and I'm not sure, frankly, why they went away from the run. Denver had been running the ball pretty consistently uh, for the first half and controlling things, but in the second half, they only ran the ball four times, and I think that falls on Pat Shermer's shoulder the offensive coordinator. Um, as you know, he came to us from the Giants where he had a, I think a nine and, can remember, nine and 14 record or something as a head coach with the Giants. And he had the same situation previously uh, when he was a head coach. So I'm not sure um, about his game planning. What bothers me the most, I guess, is that uh, when we see Drew Locke throwing the ball, he's on a semi-rollout, which only gives him about half the field to throw to. And I think he's he's got such a strong arm, he should be drop back passing and sitting in the pocket. Now that takes time to learn, I get that. But uh, I, would, I would recommend, obviously, this is just my opinion, I would keep him in the pocket and give him the whole field to throw to, not eliminate half the field by rolling him out. Um, because I do think that part of the responsibility for that loss falls heavily on Pat Shermer's shoulders. Going forward, they play the Steelers this weekend. Pittsburgh, one in three, if you can imagine, with Russell Roethlisberger as a quarterback. Their defense uh, is struggling a little bit. They're the 28th ranked defense in the NFL right now, which is really hard to believe for a Pittsburgh Steeler team. And I can tell you with history with the Steelers, the Broncos are normally fortunate. We've had good luck even back when I was playing against the Steelers. It was a trip we looked forward to. But they are a really good team and I think underrated right now. So we'll see what happens, uh, what kind of an effect this loss has on the team. Bridgewater, it looks like, should be back to play and he uh, was cleared to practice starting Thursday. So we'll see if he is a starter or if Drew Locke will be starting and Bridgewater will be a backup. Uh, either way, it's gonna be a tough day because uh, Pittsburgh is a big team with a big front four and they have a, a certainly a, a great passer, if not a really good passer in Roethlisberger if he's given time to throw. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully Glasgow and uh, Reisner will both be healthy for this game. Uh, that will help uh, improve the pass uh, blocking for the Broncos, which I think was uh, in need of help last week. So let's keep our fingers crossed that the Broncos have a good game against Pittsburgh and they get back on the winning track and get that record to four and one. Also, <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you.